Tracy, you do everything, you know, March Madness, whatever it is. Super Bowl, where does this kind of rank in terms of the big games you cover? Yeah, this is certainly the biggest game. I mean, I've done March Madness as well, but we do that every year in a cha the national championship game. So that's different. When you only get to do it every three years or now four years, um, it's definitely at the top. It's one of those that you dreamed of as a kid. That's what I wanted to do was cover a Super Bowl. So to get that opportunity, I know how fortunate I am. As a seasoned pro like you are, do you get nervous for the Super Bowl? You get anxious. You just want it to happen. I mean, I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, I can't believe it's only Tuesday, right? So it's a long week, a long lead up. You just want to kick off already. And I think when you wake up that morning, there are definitely butterflies, just probably like the players. And then right before you do that first hit, you're just anxious, let's get going. And once we kick off, just kind of another game. You're going to read and react exactly how you would any other game that you do. It kind of what the players say, try to treat it just like another game. Uh, and speaking of that, there's obviously two teams, and this broadcast team is, in my opinion, the best in the business. What do you think makes the three of you work so well together? I think it's the camaraderie and the friendship that we have, and we've spent a lot of time together on and off the field. And I think we've really become good friends, and we trust what each other's roles are, which is really important. And they trust whatever I give to them, and they can come and send it down to me. And we really share so much. Some of it might not get on the air, but I might open my mic during a, you know, a, a quarter at the end of the quarter and say, "Hey, I got this for you," and and they trust and send it down to me and we share information and I think we just have a really tight relationship amongst the three of us. You really are, I would say, an icon for women in sports. What advice would you give to young women trying to do what you do? I, I appreciate you saying that and um, I always feel it's about giving back and, and laying the foundation for the next person. I've been fortunate to have someone like Leslie Visser pave the way for me and she is certainly a mentor of mine and I think one of the biggest things is just go after your dream. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a long road. Get advice have mentors, ask a lot of questions, stick with it, be very versatile, willing to do as many things that's offered to you, and be a great teammate. Be a really good teammate, because I truly believe if people enjoy working alongside you, you will have longevity in this business. Thank you so much.